Tonight, Providence police are investigating several unsolved crimes connected to a recent rash of youth violence. The latest happened last night here on Chalkstone Avenue. A 16-year-old was rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital after he was stabbed in the chest. It comes just one day after another 16-year-old was grazed in the head by a bullet while sitting on a porch here on Ring Street in Providence. Both of those crimes come on the heels of a tragic shooting on Sumter Street around midnight Monday, where a 14-year-old was shot and killed after answering a knock at his front door. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Urosu is live in our newsroom now. She has the latest developments on how the city was coping with these shocking attacks on children. Susan, the Institute for the Study and Practice of Nonviolence says though it may seem that teen violence is on the rise, it's an issue their street workers deal with every day. A week of teen violence in Providence. A 16-year-old grazed in the head by a bullet here on Ring Street. Another 16-year-old stabbed in the chest on Chalkstone Avenue. And one teen shot and killed when he answered his front door. Joel Figueroa was just 14 years old. There's no 14-year-old that deserves to die. This weekend really feels horrible. Though it may seem teen violence is on the rise, Tenny Gross from the Institute for the Study and Practice of Nonviolence says youth assaults and crime are issues street workers deal with daily. We are in families of elementary schools. I mean, imagine how many people are either in jail on probation and parole. Do you think that they only have kids in high school? Just that risk factor. But possibly the biggest risk factor? Joining a gang. Gross says gang affiliation is a sign that what teens are looking for is camaraderie or even just someone to talk to. December, he says, tends to be the most violent month of the year in Providence and throughout the country. Still, he says, we can all do our part to stop it. Just a listening ear makes a difference, and we can all make a difference. So let's make December a safe month and break a pattern. And that teen shooting death was the 12th homicide in Providence this year. We're told the Institute for the Study and Practice of Nonviolence is helping that teen's family with funeral arrangements. Meanwhile, police continue to search for the suspect. Live in the newsroom, Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.